hug. Mike, my wonderful husband, Lola, my special, strong, brave, genius daughter. You're in a lovely mood, Max. Did Liam Fox finally burst? <laughs> no, but today's the big day. The world may be a terrifying cesspit of horror, but today we actually get to do something about it. How do you mean, Mum? Today we march. So many causes coming together to say, we're mad as hell, but we're not going to take it anymore. Who are we saying that to, Mum? You know, them. The politicians. The man. No offence, Mike. No, none taken. <laughs> still not the man, still just a man. Well, what one of the men, but not the men. A man, not the man. That's... The man who I love. Now, Lola, there's going to be a lot of people on the march today, so if we get split up, what do you do? Stay exactly where we got separated and shout Mum and Dad over and over. Very good. Logically, I could shout anything as long as you know it's me, right? Mm, I suppose. Then? I shall do the distress call of the female wolf. Ow, ow! We have so much to thank David Attenborough for. Praise, Praise be, be upon him. him. How many people are going to be there? Well, the Guardian predicted it would be attended by about a quarter of a million, and the Daily Mail predicted about 29 people, so somewhere between those two. 125,014.5. Right, so you can do that some, but picking up Lego pieces when you're asked to is beyond you. Not beyond me, Mum. Beneath me. <laughs> Cat, hurry up! So, at the march, all the bad politicians, the man that isn't Dad, they're all going to be there to be shouted at. Well, the march goes past the Houses of Parliament, so if we're noisy enough, sure, we could distract them. So, if a politician was like, I've got a plan to tax wheelchairs and sunlight, <laughs> and then heard us all shouting, they might think, oh, I get it now, and just go have a toasty instead. Yeah, a toasty or a cup of tea, that is a perfectly plausible notion. Lola, marches aren't really for them. Them, them? The them? Yeah, they're a bit for the them, but mostly they're for the us. Our family does not sit on our bums being scared of the world. We get up and we march together in a lovely angry mob. Yeah, shouty Christmas for the Wilsons. And afterwards we'll have a nice picnic in Parliament Square under a statue of Gandhi. Is that in poor taste? Picnic, Gandhi? <laughs> Oh, right. Well, good point. Someone less hunger strikey. <laughs> Cat, hurry up! What do we want? Cat, to hurry up! When do we want it? Now! Down in a minute! The coach is leaving soon. Oh, Lola, have you got your banner? Yep. Let's have a look. End the fifth state dissemination of false information. Oh, now, Max, I really don't like it when parents write complicated banners for their children that they couldn't possibly understand themselves. I didn't write that. I did. My banner says, try and be kind. Oh, that's so lovely, if rather simple sentiment, Mum. But I do like the drawing of the daisy. And I like your drawing of Paul Dacre in a retirement home looking ashamed. <laughs> Mike, you ready? Nearly. I was just looking for oh, my... No, not yes, your hat. my special protest march hat. Bells and bright colours and plenty of height. That's what we need today. Do you know, it's funny, I couldn't find it. It was hidden in the shed under a pile of chicken feed and organic mulch in a bag, in a box. I wonder how it got there. Yes, I wonder. Still, never mind, here it is. Ta da oh, Mike, I'd say that that hat is the most awful cultural appropriation, but there's no culture that would wear anything with that many bells on it. Predators would have got them immediately. <laughs> Why, Mike? Why do you insist on wearing that hat on marches? Max, this is a march, a carnival. We're taking to the streets for mischief and tie-dye trousers, magic mushrooms and putting a traffic cone on a statue of Winston Churchill. It's not 1996 anymore. Turns out Chumba Wumba weren't quite the political force we thought they might be. They got knocked down and they didn't get up again. <laughs> you need to think about the visuals of a march. This is going to be on the news. Politicians aren't scared of crusties with bongos. They're scared of real people, voters, getting off their asses and missing Saturday Kitchen to stomp about in the drizzle. We need to look respectable. Oh, that is rich coming from you. Why, Dad? 
Matt, when we first got together, we went on the poll tax march and you flashed your boobs at Nigel Lawson. Is that true, Mum? Did you flash your boobs at Nigella's dad? No, of course not. You always say the female body isn't to be ashamed of. Yeah, surely you're not body shaming yourself, Max. Fine, I did. I flashed Nigel Lawson. I made pink pancakes on the window of his limo and look where he's got his phone. <laughs> Is that when he stopped believing in climate change? Now, what are we doing? Going, Going on, on a, a lovely march. march. Who are the police? Civil, Civil servants, servants doing, doing a difficult, difficult job. <laughs> Hello, Mum. Michael, it's your mother. Uh, look, I've put you on loudspeaker, Mum. We can't really talk because we're going out on a march. I mean... National Trust. Yeah, we're marching round one of our country's lovely National Trust properties. Oh, no, you're not. I've just worked out why you wanted to borrow our walking boots. You're going on that protest march in London today, aren't you? Yes, Mum. A bit. Fight the power! Shh. Oh, you're not taking the children. Look, it's a family day out. No one goes on these things, Michael. They're a complete waste of time. Well, Mum, we're going. Loads of people we know are going. You mustn't take the children. It'll be terribly crowded, full of violent gangs and looters. I don't want to see my granddaughter used as a battering ram to smash in the windows at John Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going, but also it'll be full of violent gangs. I'm putting your father on. Philip. Huh? Oh, uh, listen to your mother. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> tell them who goes on these things. Oh, yes, of course. It's a load of moaning, namby pambies who can't face reality. Spineless, cowardly snowflakes. And also violent rioters and looters. Oh, yes, and to a delicate, cowardly, violent looters. <laughs> They'll kick your face in and cry about it after. Right out, Dad. Well, I hope that's persuaded you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't go. You'll only end up being put in a kettle or something. Jennifer, that's the sort of alarmist disinformation the right spreads to stop people taking part in perfectly... She's gone. I know. That's why I said it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, Max. I'm worried your mum might have a point. Ah, yes. I mean, I hope it stays peaceful. There's so many different causes marching today. It might be a bit schism-y. If everyone's so different, why are they marching together? I mean, that is the brilliant thing about marches. Even people who disagree a bit put all their differences aside for a common goal. Yeah, in theory. How come we're not marching with one of our women's groups? Oh, there's too many divisions this year. One group really hates women wearing the burqa and the other one feels a little bit too keen on them wearing the burqa. Let's just march on our own, Team Wilson's. Hey, Dad, mm. what do you think of the burqa? Uh, um... Yeah, Mike, what's your hot take? I, um, well, yeah. obviously um, it's a very sensitive issue but, and, mm. um... What should be allowed, Dad? How do you feel about yes. it? Yes, mm. well, speaking purely as a Caucasian man raised in the Anglo-Saxon Christian oh, tradition... Very good. Yeah, you know, culturally, I Come feel... Come you can do it. Mike. Obviously, I feel... It would be entirely inappropriate for me to ever comment on what a female woman chooses to wear or not wear. <laughs> Everyone, I'm ready. Cat, you are not wearing that. <laughs> Mom, my, I mean, whoa, cat. That outfit is completely and totally provocative and inappropriate. Let me explain. Yeah, cat, please explain to us why you've chosen today of all days to dress up as a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed as a tampon. Yes, we got that from the blue string and the applicator. Yeah, I feel faint. <laughs> oh. I didn't get it. I thought you were a burrito. <laughs> Kat, I fully respect your choices to express yourself through fashion, but why are you dressed as a tampon? Uh, well, duh. It's feminism club at school. Our charity focus this term is hygiene poverty. What, like people who cut their toenails on the train? <laughs> you know there are girls who miss loads of school because they can't afford sanitary protection? Okay. We're dressing like this to highlight how unfair it is that tampons are still taxed in the UK. They're considered luxury items. It's hardly a platter of Ferrero Rocher. Oh, Ambassador, with this lady hygiene, you are really spoiling us. <laughs> you never hear anyone choose, you know, super lilettes on desert island discs, do you? Um, Bible, Shakespeare, big box of tummy rockets. It's a bloody <laughs> outrage. That's a very good costume, Cap. People will see us and take photos and insta us till everyone's like, yeah, tampons, whatever, who cares? And they can't shame us into paying unfair tax that will just go on, like, war or something. <laughs> Mum? Mum? 
You all right, Mum? I can't breathe. I'm literally speechless with pride at my baby girl. Cat, let me just give you a massive hug. No, no, Mum, this outfit is really hard to stay upright in, and I really don't think it's... And we're on the floor. <laughs> I don't care, I'm too busy hugging you. Wow, you are so cosy. Mum, mm. you need to stop crying. I'm really very absorbent. I don't... <laughs> I, uh, look, I know we always go on marches together, but... What? Would you mind if I don't march with you? What? I want to meet up with my friends. Oh, right. OK, sure. They're all meeting at one o'clock by Nelson's Column. Well, it'll be busy. You'll never find them. Oh, I will. They're dressed as a sanitary towel and a moon cup. <laughs> really makes sense together. But we always march together. Yeah, but I'm 16. I'm old enough to... You know, not do things with you and dad. And that's hat. <laughs> Lola! Present! Max! Present! Cat! Yes, but seriously, I need to go and meet my friends now. It's gone one o'clock and we are nowhere near Nelson's column. If it starts raining, we'll be too heavy to find each other. <laughs> Stay with us for a few minutes, Cat, please. Family fun day. Mom, I told you I was meeting my friends. Oh, you'll never find them in this lot. Let's just keep together, eh? I I'm sure I'll find them as soon as I get a phone signal. Just got the door. The telecoms network can't cope with this many phone signals. Isn't this amazing, though? I mean, look at all these people all marching together. What a brilliant day. It's brilliant, isn't it? All the banners and costumes. Look at the naked bikers for solar power. <laughs> Bet their saddles stink. Yeah, stink of defiance. Mum, look! That bloke's dressed like a bee. Bzz, hello, I'm Bee Man. Bzz, save the bees. Have a sticker. Be good. Ugh, you're hitting me with your wings, dude. I'm Bee Man. Go away, Bee Man. Don't you mean buzz off? No. Cat, stop being so grumpy. Sorry, Bee Man. Thanks for the stickers, Bee Man. <laughs> Look at that sign over there. It looks like it says, Flick the Tories. <laughs> no, it doesn't say Flick. It actually says... Cat! <laughs> what? If you don't want to see rude signs, don't bring her on a protest march. Everyone does rude signs now to go viral. It's like a thing. Oh, Cat, don't be like this. This is our family day out. Lola shouldn't be here. Take her to Legoland like a normal mum. Lego! We'll get Lego later, Lola. Don't be daft, Cat. There's loads of families here. Yeah, and ours is the most annoying. I want to be with my friends. I told you, you'll never find them. I will when I get a phone signal. Who are that group, Dad? Uh, that's centrist dads against self-service checkouts. <laughs> They're very specific and very cross. <laughs> It seems strange. Everyone is in different groups. Aren't we all on the same side? Well, sort of, yes. But, you know, there are a few differences of opinion. Like, that group over there, they really like the leader of the Labour Party. And that group over there, they really don't. Still, I'm sure they'll work it out. <laughs> <laughs> Whose phone is ringing? That means you've got signal. Oh, it's mine. Uh, hello, Mum? Michael, it's your mother. Yeah, Mum, I can hardly hear you. Yeah, we've been watching your march on the news. Yeah, I told you, see, lots of people all exercising their democratic right to protest. No, you've got to get out of there. There's a cannibalistic biker gang heading towards you and... Sorry. Oh, oh wait, Philip sat on the remote control. That's the film channel, something called Mad Max. Uh, I'm turning back to Sky <laughs> News. Right, they're covering the whole thing from helicopters. We can see the whole of central London. What a waste of the licence fee that we no longer pay. <laughs> it's too crowded and there's no one there. There's actually loads of people here. Well, not proper people. <laughs> Darling, you are being safe, aren't you? It looks awful. Everyone's crammed down Piccadilly like the first day of the Harrod sale. And there's some very rude banners, quite libelous. We met the Reese Moggs and there's very little chance his mother would even let him do that. <laughs> No reception. That was very good, love. Well done. Wait, if Mima phones you, that means there's some phone reception there. Let's go back to that spot. You can't reverse in a march, Cat. It's very much a one-way walk. <laughs> oh, Cat, stop waving your phone about like a Ghostbuster and just be mindful of where we are in this amazing moment. Isn't it brilliant? Breathe it in, the smell of democracy. <coughs> 
a man's got a funny smelling lightsaber. Excuse me, do you mind not vaping in my daughter's face? Uh, we're vapors for medical marijuana. I suppose you like people with MS being at the mercy of Big Pharma, hmm? Uh, I don't know. Just how big is this farmer? What does he farm? Does he have a special tractor? Yeah, no, 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 just stay away from the men with the funny cigarettes, OK? <laughs> OK, keep together, everyone. Mum, look, police! Ah, don't point at the police, Lola. Hello, officers, we come in peace. Well done, you're doing a very good job there. They've got horses. Can I go and look at the horses? Uh -huh. Not now. Cat, can you try and look happy? No, I want to find my friends. <laughs> look at that girl. She's dressed like a marshmallow man. <laughs> See, my outfit looks stupid on its own. No, it doesn't. You look brilliant. Oh, Cat, come on. In our day, when you went on a protest march, you just took your great big hat and you didn't worry where your friends were. Everyone was your friend. You were all there for the same reason. It was probably a lot easier when you were marching against the repeal of the Corn Laws. <laughs> Cause, that one. Yeah, thank you. You know, if you lost your friends, you just made new ones. On the CND march, your mum got on the wrong bus. I ended up in a rave in Somerset. For two weeks. But we did stop that bypass. Nope, you didn't. Well, felt like we did. Look, what we're saying is it doesn't really matter who you're marching with. Oh, cool. I'll go find my friends then. No! <laughs> Here. Everyone else's phone is going to voicemail. I, I can't hear you, Mimo. It's really noisy here. I keep treading on my own string. No, I'm just phoning to say we're still watching it on the news, and whatever you do, do not go down the mall. Some hippies have climbed on an ambulance and started dancing, and it's upset the group of NHS nurses. Uh, I, say, I know they're tired and everything, but some of these nurses could put a bit of lipstick on if they're going to be on. <laughs> uh, cheer the place up. Um, Grandma, I've got to go. Yes, I've got signal again. Oh my, 30 missed messages. Type, type, send. Oh, Kat, try and keep up with us. Mum, Dad, I've got a hold of my friends. We're meeting at the Starbucks on Whitehall at two. Oh, Kat, really? What now? Oh, nothing. She's angry that you're going to Starbucks. Good, Mum. We're doing a really good thing, an unequivocally good thing. We're dressed like idiots to raise awareness of a really important issue. Can't you just let us have a corporate coffee with plastic lids without being a plank about it? No, don't call your mother a plank, Kat. Right. That would have had more gravitas if you weren't wearing a really planky hat. My hat! Look, can you girls not just have an independent coffee? What, a lovely little independent coffee shop that's open in the middle of a riot? Protest? Not a riot! Kat, they don't pay their taxes and those plastic lids take centuries to biodegrade. God, Mum, what is your problem? Climate change, the bees, racism, sexism, pick a banner. Yeah, just let her go, Max. Shut up, Mike. If it wasn't for your stupid hat. Well, what's wrong with my lovely big hat? Excuse me, Mum, Cat, are you two really arguing about lids? Yes. No, of course we're not arguing about lids. I think you are arguing about lids. That's what it sounds like. Lola, for one second, stop being such a know-it-all. OK, sorry. Cat, why don't we all meet your friends together? Do you know why I wanted to split up, Mum? It's because you're embarrassing. I'm embarrassing? You are literally dressed like a tampon! All right, everyone, look, we're in Soho, OK? Oh, look, here come the drag queens. Aha, they're all on stilts. Brilliant. Mike, where are you? Girls! Max, Cat, I can't see you. I'm stuck behind the drag queens on stilts. Mike! Cat! I, you, and the stupid jaster hat, stop shoving me. I'm gonna fall off me stilts. Oh, sorry. Max! Cat! Chill out, Dad! Max! Max, where's Lola? What? I can't see Lola. Oh, God, no! Lola! No, Lola! 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 My baby girl, she's lost in this crowd. Max, she'll be okay. You said it yourself. This is a peaceful protest. Oh, don't be a fool, Mike. Look around you. These are the worst people in the world. There's half a million disgusting hippies and self-obsessed Guardian readers who just would love to turn a blind eye while the looters kidnap her and murder her and... Lola! 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 Excuse Lola! me, sorry, have you seen my... Yeah, I have a flyer. Would you like to make a donation to free political prisoners? I'm sorry, I can't right now. Have you seen a little girl? I've seen a little girl in a prison in Myanmar with no books and no food. Ah, don't care. Do not care. Sorry. Lola! 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 Please, please. 
Pete, can you let me through? I can't find my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about the daughters of people? Go on, who... say what about to me, mate. You say what about to me one more time, and I will shove that badly spelled flyer right up your Rangoon. Lola! <laughs> Lola! 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 Mum, I'm going to go try find her. Mike, what are we going to do? Our little girl is lost in this horrible okay. gag. Okay, of... okay, look, if you've lost your kid, why don't you get on my shoulders? You'll be able to see better. But I can't get on your shoulders. You'll never lift me. Oh, please, I teach circus skills. I've got to call like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Well, God, that w would be great. Thank you. Okay. All right, here I go. Right. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I, I'm gonna fall into the drag queen! Hello, love. You need a hand there? I'll help hold you up. Hold on to my unicorn horn. There we go. <laughs> and I hold it up, everyone. Lola! Lola! Can you see her, love? Everyone look out for a lost little girl. Max! Oh, there you are! Can you see her? No, I can't. Can you? Bzz. How can I help? B-Man, listen, have you seen the little girl who was with us? Take my megaphone. G call her. Go on. Oh, thank you. Great idea. Bzz. Thank you, B-Man. I could go into the crowd and if I find your daughter, I'll come back and do a waggle dance to let you know her location. <laughs> yeah, look, you're not an actual B, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Lola! 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 Max, Lola! where's Kat? I can see Kat. She's ahead of us. Oh, thank God she's all white and massive. Kat, look this way. Hi, Kat. Mum, what are you doing up there? This nice anarchist is holding me up on his shoulders. <laughs> Your dad got a megaphone from a bee. OK, I still can't see Lola. Lola! Lola! <coughs> That's her wolf call. I can see her. She's over there. She's... She's on a horse! <laughs> a police horse! Oh, thank goodness. I'm on a horse! Cat, can you get to her? Lola, hold on tight, I'm coming. Excuse me, can I just let me through? Mike, no one's letting Cat through. Excuse me, everyone. Can you please make way for the girl in the big white outfit? <laughs> Dad, I've got an idea. Hello? Mima, are you still watching the news? Yes. OK, are there helicopter shots of Soho? Yes, we're watching now. Great, can you see me? I'm waving up at the helicopters. Look, you can't miss me. Uh, are you dressed as a, a duvet? <laughs> yes, that's right, I am a duvet. Look, can you see the police horses? They're by the theatre. Oh, my goodness, there's Lola. Philip, Lola's on a horse. I knew she'd look good on a pony. <laughs> Mima, I can't get to her. Could you guide me in? Oh, oh, yes, okay, oh, good idea. Right, OK. Um, uh, yes, there's, there's, go, go to right. Um, there's a small gap. No, left, go left. Oh. Where now, Mima? Oh, no, I'll put your grandfather on. No. Hello, it's your grandfather here. Now, I'm looking at this situation, and, and it reminds me of when I was on the Louvers with my friend <laughs> on Salisbury Plain. Now, Biffy Thompson trying to get Paul, the colours Please, your grandma back on. Yes, there's no time for it. Right, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, I can see your mother. She's standing with those, um, very tall ladies. Yes, yes, I can... I, 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 I still can't see how I can get through to her, Lola. She, she looks quite scared. Ow, ow! Can you reach her? I don't, I don't know how to get through all the people. Got it. I'll crowd surf it. Oi, right, yeah, help me up. All right, yeah, sure. Up you go. Mike, I can see Kat. She's she's going up. The crowd are lifting her up. OK, hello, everyone. Look, a teenage girl is going to crowd surf to her sister, who is on a police horse. <laughs> this is all normal. <laughs> Please assist her. What is she wearing? Is that a burrito? No. No, no, she's a ghost mouse. No, she's a spliff. Yeah, OK, if that helps, that's fine. Everyone, pass the spliff. Pass, pass the spliff. 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 This is amazing. Everyone's taking photos of me. Lola, come on, let me help you down. Are you OK? <laughs> I'm OK. I was on a horse. Yeah, I saw. Cat, that looks so cool. Are you okay? That was amazing. <laughs> Mum, stop hugging me. Never. Neither of you. Lola, why were you up on a horse? Sorry. I couldn't find you. I tried to stay where I was, but everyone was walking forward, so... I went over to the police. That's very sensible, darling. I wanted to talk to them about pay inequality in the public services and how the police hadn't had a real-term pay rise in years. Of course you did. The officer was so happy someone was being nice to him rather than shouting. 
that he let me have a go on his horse. You should never, ever just get on a horse, no matter how much it pleases your grandmother. But I'm very glad you did. When you're up there, on a horse, even when there's lots of people who don't agree with each other, it just looks like a bunch of people. That's a wonderful observation, darling. Maybe everyone should just stop trying to convince everyone to agree with them on everything and just agree we agree on enough things to be a team. I think that was about you, Max. <laughs> Mum, I'm really sorry. I didn't realise it was such an important family day for you. No, I'm sorry. I'm so proud of you. It's cool. Look, hashtag crowd surfing tampon, hashtag end period poverty. The cause is trending. I've gone viral. I'm sorry I didn't let you go with your mates. I just wanted to keep you safe. Well, you used to do all those wild, dangerous things on protests. I just wanted to be like you. Thing is, though, I care about you a lot more than I ever did myself. That's just being a mum. I get it. But I have to let you go. I can't just wrap you up in cotton wool. <laughs> Have you seen what I'm wearing? <laughs> um, anyone else notice we've been stood still for a really long time? Yeah, have we stopped moving? Uh-oh. Hi, Jennifer. Max, are you all together now? Yeah, please don't shout at us. No, no, I rather enjoyed that. Moving the troops around, I felt like I was Field Marshal Haig. Uh, we <laughs> used to lose Michael all the time. He was just like a spaniel. Always found his way back when he was hungry enough. Anything, anything for a liver treat? Yeah. <laughs> We're all together now, Mum. The march has stopped moving. Ah, yes, that's what I was going to tell you. It's all on the news. Kay Burley says you have been kettled. Kettled? That sounds nice. No, it's not. It means the police hold us here for the foreseeable. We're trapped. At least we're trapped together. It's nice to spend time with the family. Thanks for helping, Nemo. Well, I hope you realise now these things are a complete waste of time and oh, resources. Dear, Mum, steps. Hello? Well done, Mike. Let's share a picnic with everyone. Nice idea, Lola. Oi, drag queens! You want a bag of frazzles? Cheers, love. Chuck them up here. Here, tampon. Tampon's dad, you want a banana? Cheers, ladies. Ah! You accidentally knocked my hat off. Accidentally, yeah. <laughs> well, this isn't so bad. All right, B-men? Hello. Who wants a nice honey sandwich? Oh, honey sandwich. I made the honey myself. Oh, oh. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Thank you very much. The Wilson Save the World was written by Marcus Brigstock and Sarah Morgan, with thanks to Carrie Quinlan, and starred Marcus Brigstock as Mike, Kerry Godleman as Max, India Brown as Lola, Mia Jenkins as Kat, Vicky Pepperdine as Jennifer, Rupert Van Sittich as Philip, and Kyle Smith Bino as everyone else. The producer was Julia McKenzie, and it was a BBC Studios production. Thank you.